Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about a super hot topic, Vlogmas. So after talking with my Lemonade girlies, we decided that Vlogmas is a challenge and it breaks a lot of us. I tried Vlogmas yesterday, last year and I didn't get past two episodes. So this year, we're not playing no games with Vlogmas. So I'm here to tell you how to get ready. First of all, if you're watching this video right now, we're running behind, so we gotta catch up. Yes, that includes- Before we get into this video, I wanna go ahead and thank Proper Meals for helping support my channel. Proper Goods is a ready-to-eat meal company that has nutrient-dense, high-quality meals that can be delivered right to your door. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner so options. today I'll be preparing some blueberry toasted coconut overnight oats. I have my Proper Goods jar. I'll be adding my overnight oats. So I add my oats to the jar. So I've gone ahead and add my milk enough to cover all the ingredients. And I'm gonna go ahead and also add a little bit of cranberries. So I added just a few, not too many. A little bit of chia seeds to help with digestion. Next it says to put the lid on and shake. And there you have it. You put it in the fridge and it's ready to eat in the morning. So if you're interested in trying proper goods, I'll leave my coupon code below so you can save some money and also the link to their website. Thanks, proper goods. So the best number one thing you need to do for Vlogmas is planning. And yes, December is next week. And clearly that means we haven't planned ahead. But that does not mean we're out of time. So I'm going to help you and I'm going to show you my strategy for how I'm planning for Vlogmas. First, lovely planner. If you are a content creator, whether it be a physical or a digital, you need a planner. Okay? I had to learn that. Okay? I actually have three planners. One for all my events, one for content, and one for bills. Okay? Adulting gets real. So, when it comes to my content, I have um, a page in here where I write down all of my video ideas. Um, I write down, like, just as a list. And then I try to write down what days I plan on posting my content and what I plan to post on those days. So, I'm just going to show you, like, a random day. February next year. Just regular blank calendar, right? I highlight the days I want to post because my videos usually go out on Wednesday and Saturday. Um, I'm probably going to change to Sunday, but that's neither here nor there right now. Um, but this is something that will save your life. Again, it could be a digital planner. For me, I like to write things down and switch things around. I prefer something tangible. Another reason why I like something tangible is because sticky notes. Sticky notes help me plan my content for December. Most calendars have a monthly and a weekly side. I like to use my sticky notes for the weekly. So for example, for Vlogmas, I have a sticky note on each day of the weekly of what I plan on posting for that day. As I said, December 1st is next week. So this weekend is crunch time. You can turn what you would usually make into one long video, into several different videos. Come on now, this is Vlogmas. We don't need to have 30 minute videos every single day because if you're not like up here, nine times out of 10, no one's gonna be able to watch all those videos every single day because Vlogmas <laughs> is no joke. The whole point of Vlogmas is to push your content to as many people as possible. And we need that watch time up, okay? So, for Vlogmas, I suggest if you are not already up there with a hundred thousands and thousands of followers to maybe do at max 15 to 20 minute videos. For me, mine probably will not be 15 minutes. I 
don't have as many subscribers as someone that you might watch every single day. So I don't expect that people will want to watch 30, 45 minutes of my life just yet, but it's coming. So I plan my content as something that I can achieve in 15 minutes or less, 12 to 15 without losing the attention span of my viewers. One of my videos is going to be a festival that we're having here in Charlotte. We do it every single year. I've never gotten to go, but me and my girls are gonna be going. If you are in Charlotte, hit me up on Instagram so I can tell you about this group that I'm in, the Soft Black Girls Club. Absolutely amazing, I love it. All the girls are amazing. If you wanna be a part of it, I can get you all the information that you need. So you can join us on our endeavors. Anyway. Um, so we're going to a Christmas festival here and I'm going to vlog about that. If you're going out, what do you do before you go out? Get ready. Put your makeup on. Choose your outfit. Do you, whatever you do, that is several different videos. This is Vlogmas. We don't have time for long videos. If you're going to do your skincare when you wake up in the morning, it's winter time. You're probably doing something different than you usually do. Winter skincare routine. After that, you're putting on your makeup. What look are you wearing that day? Makeup look for blah, blah, blah. What are you wearing? Now, with that, that's not something you can make an entire video for one outfit, no. So, what you can do, you can tie your outfit in and then go to your event. But make sure while you're at the event, you're highlighting what you're doing, but you're also showing your outfit so that it goes together. Don't just be showing, oh, I ate food, oh, no, 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 we need to tie them together. We can't just post Christmas content that has nothing to do with the niche. Again, unless you're already up there and people watch you just for vlogs, regardless of what you're doing. We are small creators trying to get big, so we got to do what we got to do. We know how we're going to plan our content, but what content are we planning? How are you going to find out what to do for your content? So... I did my research when it came to planning out my content. I looked at people within my niche from past Vlogmas and see what they posted to get inspired for ideas. Um, I Googled, looked at different things that people have posted, like some people post lists of Vlogmas ideas, and I try to see how I can incorporate that within my niche. My niche is beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Lifestyle is pretty broad, so that kind of makes things a little complicated. So I try to focus in on what my content does well on the most. And it seems like you guys so far like the get ready with me. You like when I'm doing my hair or when I go out and get my hair done, things like that. So I want to incorporate my content for Vlogmas in the things that get the most views and the most attention on my channel. Um, it seems to be that my fashion gets, you know, good views on certain platforms. So on those platforms, yes, I will take the videos that I'm making for YouTube, condense them and make them into a video that fits the platform. For example, TikTok, you want to have at least a one minute video, um, because that seems to be trending right now on TikTok. So mind you, you're doing more than one thing in your video. Those are several different content ideas. For TikTok. What I like to do when I'm filming, I have a tripod that allows me to put both my camera and my phone. So that way I'm getting um, a portrait and a landscape view. So I can record in small clips on my phone using my clicker and then I can also record on my camera at the same time uh, while discreetly stopping and starting the footage on my phone so that I have content for multiple platforms. We're not double recording. I don't have time for that. Okay? I still work a nine to five. You look for your content ideas, you write down the ones that you know you can make relevant for your content and make a list. In my planner, I have a section where it's just plain piece of paper. I can write down notes, I can put down any ideas that come to mind, and that's why I like to have a physical thing. I can carry it around with me and I can see it as big as I want to rather than having to have it on my phone or carry it around my iPad all over the place because I don't want to do that. That thing is... Another idea for content for Vlogmas is working with brands that are promoting Christmas things within your niche. So if you work with makeup, a lot of brands like to do the event calendars where you like pop it open and then there's like a new product each day. Those are something that would be good to review. Traffic to your channel, 
Two, you're getting exposure to the brand and possibly getting paid for that exposure. So that's something to keep in mind. As for those Advent calendars, like a lot of times I want to buy them, but I don't know what's inside. So what do I do? I go to YouTube and see who's did a review on it and um, show me what's inside. Because a lot of times there's stuff in there that I probably won't use or don't know how to use or don't have a desire to use. Make sure what you're choosing to post goes with your niche and is good content. I do want you guys to stay tuned because I will be posting some content that helps um, small YouTubers like me grow and also help us to learn what I went through and what I learned from working with brands because your girl makes some mistakes, okay? And I don't want you to do that. I also want to be posting some videos about tips for editing and recording. The next thing. Once you've already recorded your footage and edited your footage, you can go ahead and make your thumbnail and all of that and have it ready to go. On YouTube, you can put your posts up, have it run all the security checks and all that good stuff, and schedule your posts. If your post is scheduled and out of the way, that's one thing you don't have to worry about. Especially if you know what you're going to be posting for the next few days, your schedules are your videos are scheduled and ready to go out, then you're on to the next one. Vlogmas is all about reaching new viewers as well as maintaining the views that you already have. Another way that we're going to be promoting our channel and getting more people to watch our videos is YouTube Shorts. So a lot of people are more, you know, on with the long form content. And I see that, um, Creators that are already established, already have a name for themselves, don't really always post the shorts. But shorts are here. They haven't always been here. So it's an opportunity for us to grow and get to our goals. Clips from your long form content and creating shorts out of them will draw people to watching the full video because now they want to know more. They want to know more about what the video is about because you only gave them a sample. Another thing you want to do I know when you watch YouTube videos, you always see an intro. That intro introduces who you are and gives people an idea of what to expect from your channel. Now, we're in Vlogmas, so what you want to do is change your intro so that it goes with Vlogmas. I always like to make a Christmas theme, even if I'm not doing Vlogmas, but for that time of the month because who doesn't love Christmas? I do um and everything in here is going to be totally different as you've seen in my previous video that i'm still working on decor in here but for christmas oh we turn it up we turn it up um i'm blocking some of the decor that i already have because y'all can't see that even though it's probably going to change because i have a video coming out about that if you need help on that i'll create a video on that as well um i guess it'll be beneficial for those of you that aren't doing the full um, 25 days of Christmas. Speaking of which, we're about to dive into that now. So as a small YouTube creator, do not feel pressure to do all 25 days of Vlogmas, okay? We get it. It's okay. Don't worry. There are other options. So I know you've heard of 12 days of Christmas. Yeah, so much easier than having to worry about doing 24 or 25 days of Christmas, right? I know. So if you are just starting out, and y'all see my pajama pants, <laughs> if you are just starting out as a creator on YouTube and you're doing Vlogmas to grow and you are intimidated by doing the full 24 or 25 days of Christmas, don't worry. We can do 12, baby, okay? So if you're going to do 12, you have a few more, well, I guess maybe a week or two to prepare. As for me, I have not completely decided... Um, I'm probably going to try and do the whole 24 or 25 days of Christmas because I really want to challenge myself being that I failed miserably last year. So my plan is to do the full days. Y'all wish me luck. Okay. Because even if you plan, it's sometimes hard to execute. That's the big struggle for me. Um, a lot of times because I do work a <clears throat> full-time job as well it's kind of hard for me to still have that momentum and that energy when I come home from work and need to record but I'm really doing my best to try to stay ahead of the game I've already started recording some of my content um, by some of my content I mean one video um, don't judge me okay don't do that 
Um, I feel like if I at least stay ahead by a few videos, I can make it to the end. I do have some uh, brands that I'm going to be working with for Vlogmas, so that kind of helps encourage me and give me some ideas of what might, might be good content ideas to create. Um, so y'all stick with me. I'm going to try my best. The most important thing that I want to express is remember to be yourself. Me, when I'm giving information like this, I tend to like go into work mode. And y'all know as a black girl, work mode and regular mode is a little bit different. And sometimes I lose my personality in the mix of that. So that's one thing that I've been trying to work on with my videos. Um, understanding that, like, talking to you all is like talking to a friend. Okay? Um, and don't worry about being yourself and not being able to get brand deals because you think yourself doesn't fit the standard. That is okay, honey, because I've seen many a girls with brand deals and they are themselves being a little ratchet. Hey, that's okay, girl, because there's something for everybody and brands love that authenticity regardless of what you may be thinking. So always remember to be yourself in your content and enjoy Vlogmas. I'm so excited to see what everybody is going to be putting out. I'll be putting out my content, but I'm also going to be watching to see what my girls are putting out because I know it's going to be good. So I'm wishing everybody the best of luck on Vlogmas. And y'all wish me luck too because I'm diving in this and I'm going full force. So I'll see you guys in Vlogmas. Bye.